What's happening? It's Shane here. And in today's video, we are going to be going over a highly requested topic. A few months back, I posted a video on the eight hardest majors in college. It did extremely well. People loved it and it blew up to well over 250,000 views. And after the video, I got a bunch of requests to do a video on the easiest majors as well. And so that's what I'm going to be doing today. We are going to be going over the top 10 easiest majors in college. Now we are going to be basing this list off of four different things. The first one is the hours that students have to spend studying. The second one is the average GPA that students have. The third one is the average IQ of students who go into different majors. And then the fourth one is just my own subjective experience. So let's jump right into it right after you gently tap that like button. Let's aim for 3000 likes on this video. Also hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. I think only about 17, 18% of people who watch the channel are subscribed subscribed. So go ahead, hit the subscribe button. Don't be a lurker. Help me out here. And let's jump right into it. All right. So number 10 on this list, a very common degree. I think a lot of people are going to be a little surprised that this one isn't lower on the list, but it is still relatively difficult compared to a lot of the other ones. And that is going to be psychology. This is actually the most common degree that people graduate with out of all the different degrees out there. And I can definitely see why it's very interesting. I personally took extra classes in psychology. Very interesting stuff. So the average GPA for psychology students was about 3.3 and the average weekly study hours was only 13.5. That's actually very low. To put that in context, uh, architecture students study 22 hours a week on average. Now there's plenty of big brain people who go into psychology. It is one of those things that's a little bit introspective. And so there's a lot of smart people out there that are attracted to it. And on top of that, there is a growing need for more and more mental health professionals out there. But I think a lot of people don't realize that it's very difficult, very difficult to get a job, never mind a good job with just a bachelor's degree in psychology. And so if you decide to go this route, you need to make sure you are prepared to get a master's or even in some cases, a doctorate. Number nine is going to be business degrees and specifically I chose business administration. So business degrees in general don't tend to be all that difficult. Um, just from personal experience, I lived in a scholarship hall with 50 guys. I'd say, you know, a few of them, like maybe 10 of them or so were business majors and they were just partying all the time, right? They were having a great time. Whereas the people who were engineering majors, health majors, science majors, et cetera, were studying a lot. Now the average GPA for business administration majors is gonna be 3.2 and the average weekly study hours is about 13.5. So again, very, very low. Now the great thing about business majors, and I get some flack for this on the channel, but I'm literally just looking up the statistics, is even though they're relatively easy, they still have pretty good outcomes when it comes to your return on investment in college. The numbers are actually pretty decent for business majors. So, you know, a lot of the time people will ask me, you know, I'm not really a classroom person, I'm not really a book person, uh, but I still want to get a college degree, but I'm really worried that it's going to be too hard for me and I'm going to have to drop out. So what degree should I look at? And business majors are the choice there. You know, they're pretty easy, but at the same time, they are, you know, they have pretty good statistics. So next one on the list, number eight is going to be English. Now, a lot of people probably expected this to be lower on the list as well, like number five or number three. But funny enough, one of the most difficult classes I took during college was an English class. And the thing about English class and literature in general is it tends to be extremely subjective. So you could write a great paper, but if the professor just doesn't like it subjectively, they're not gonna give you a great grade. But with that being said, the average GPA here is about 3.2 and they study about 16 hours per week. Now also, I do think that there are a lot of big brain people who tend to be attracted to English as well. Smart people tend to like to read books and in some cases even write them. But let's be honest, a lot of the time people in college are going to BS a good amount of their papers. They're gonna write them at the last moment. And that is a skill in and of itself, to be honest with you, because that can be really valuable later on in life. So yeah, I could see an argument for this one being higher on the list or maybe even off the list. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Number seven on the list is going to be individualized majors. And I've talked about this one before on the channel. 
there are some colleges out there that will basically let you create your own major. Now this can be absolutely ridiculous. There's people who've created like YouTube studies majors and stuff like that. And I've talked about that before on the channel. There's other people who have created like video game studies majors. And most of the time, this is not going to be a good idea for many, many different reasons. But you could technically create an individualized major that's very difficult. You could do like theoretical physics and the study of quantum mechanics or something like that. And it could be even harder than a physics degree, right? So that's why I didn't put it lower on the list. I could see some people thinking this might be the easiest one, but you could technically make it a lot harder. So that's why I decided to put it at number seven. Number six on the list is going to be an education degree. And there's actually a lot of different types of education degrees out there. The average GPA for this one was 3.6, which is very, very high. Uh, and the average weekly study hours was 14. So again, not very many study hours. So yeah, education degrees, when you look at the statistics and stuff, definitely one of the easier ones. And this is one of those degrees where, in my opinion, you should be able to graduate a lot earlier, right? So it really shouldn't take you four years to finish your education degree. If it does, there's likely something wrong with the college, or maybe you're going a little bit too slow. So for instance, there was one client I was working with where the college they were going to it was almost impossible to finish their education degree in four years. It took them six years to finish it. And in that case, it definitely wasn't the client's fault. It was the college's fault. So this college, obviously, I mean, I can't say for sure, but if a person ends up going for six years, the college ends up making more money. So I think they were doing it on purpose. And you really want to try to avoid colleges like that. Number five on the list is going to be kind of more of a general degree. This is going to be the first really, really general degree I talk about, and that is going to be liberal arts. So liberal arts is a type of major, but there's actually a specific degree that is called liberal arts. And this is basically where you study a little bit of psychology, a little bit of sociology, some history, some English literature, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You basically just study a little bit of everything that falls under the umbrella term of liberal arts. So again, you're basically a jack of all trades and a master of none. And it's almost universally going to be interesting to study like a little bit of all kinds of different things. Like the 101 classes are designed to be really interesting to your average person. It's almost like a marketing thing. You take the 101 class, you really like it. And so you delve a lot more deeply into it. And that brings me to the next one on the list, number four, which is going to be studies degrees. Gender studies, jazz studies, Canadian studies. This is where you delve very deeply into an extremely niche topic. And most of the time, unfortunately, these studies degrees aren't going to teach you any real world skills that you can use to make money and get a job. Now, to be fair, that doesn't necessarily mean they aren't very difficult, right? So these can be on the difficult side. In some cases, it kind of depends on the professor because it can be very subjective. But many of them are not going to be very hard and they're probably in something that you are very interested in in the first place, so that makes it even easier. But yeah, studies degrees, not that difficult. Would say you should probably avoid them like 99% of the time. Number three on the list is going to be communications degrees. So there's a bunch of different ones, but I chose public relations and advertisement specifically. Average GPA is about 3.0, so that is on the lower side, but the average weekly study hours is 12. That is actually the lowest on the entire list. Communications degrees in general are kind of known as the athlete's degree, right? Somebody who knows that they're going to be making, you know, millions of dollars if they go to the NBA or the NFL, etc. They will take a communications major because that allows them to easily keep their grades up. They don't have to put very much effort into it and they can spend all of their time working out or getting better at whatever sport they're doing. So yeah, communications, not very difficult. Number two on the list is going to be general degrees, right? And there is literally a degree that's called general studies. But this applies to other types of degrees out there where it's basically just giving you kind of like a very surface level of a bunch of different things. So you know a little bit about a lot. And the whole purpose of becoming a professional at something or going to college to get educated is to get specialized skills. Specialists, most of the time, if you look at nature, 
If you look at jobs, if you look at all kinds of different things, specialists usually beat generalists. So for instance, specialist doctors make way more than generalist doctors. If you look at nature, you know, animals that live in northern environments, for instance, usually they're gonna have very thick fur, um, they're gonna have very thick skin a lot of the time. If they have hooves, they're gonna be very thick as well. So they have specialized themselves to live in that environment. So this is basically just a law of the universe. It's very important. If you wanna do something, if you wanna get really good at something and get paid a lot for it, you should try to specialize as much as you can. So general degree is not very good. You're just going to learn a tiny little bit about everything, which is fun. I like looking at Wikipedia. I like looking things up and learning about random stuff, but it's not necessarily going to be difficult. And then the number one degree on this list was recreation and leisure studies. So this one, when you looked at the average weekly study hours, it was actually less than 10. So they studied less than 10 hours per week. And I mean, do I even need to explain this one? recreation and leisure studies it's in the name so even when you are studying it's like recreation so it's like maybe you could study by watching netflix or something or maybe you study by go playing frisbee with your friends this has definitely got to be number one for the easiest degree out there but let me know what you guys think uh you know did i get the right ones on the list did i get them in the wrong order let me know what you think is the easiest degree or if one of them on this list is a lot harder than i'm you know saying that it was and uh, if you haven't done it already go ahead check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you. And uh, comment below, uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. And I will see you next time.